Hey guys, so today we are after not a bird, but a fish. At this time of year, Pacific herring have started their spawning. So we took a ferry over to the picturesque Denby Island. This is just kind of the town center that's right off the ferry. Pacific herring breed off the shore. They usually plant their eggs kind of on seaweed or rocks, and then the males exude their seed and it turns the water white so it's kind of this interesting phenomenon they have been seen up farther north around comox but this is kind of the hot spot so hopefully we can see that today all right it's a little windy so sorry if i'm yelling so i am on denby island no i am on denman island hoping to see the herring spawn and apparently i'm on the wrong island because behind me is hornby island and you can see through binoculars the milky kind of color of the water from the spawn and thousands of gulls going crazy so um, I guess I'm a little regretting not taking that ferry this morning but what can you do you can see the number of fishing vessels pretty interesting that there's a fishery when they are spawning especially a fish species that I think collapsed in 1993 or something like that but uh, I'm just a landlubber so I guess I shouldn't comment on that I'm hoping if maybe we try the south side of the island, maybe we'll have some luck, but it looks like my timing was just maybe a little off. It's certainly a spectacle and even just looking at through binoculars through the camera is pretty cool. You can definitely see the color change in the water. So at the very least I saw it. Always nice to see what you set out to see even if it's from a couple kilometers away. So we decided to say screw it and we are going to Hornby Island. It is about 2 p.m. So that gives us, I don't know, three or four hours of herring watching time. So I'm pretty excited here to see these fish and it looks like there's thousands of gulls. I'm hoping that maybe we'll see some marine mammals as well. So arriving in Hornby Island, we did see evidence of the herring run right away, right off the dock, right off the ferry terminal. You could see the water with the milky white kind of color to it. They're not super small fish. I would say they're probably eight to 10 inches on average, although there was quite a bit of variation. It was really interesting seeing their schooling behavior. They seem to kind of travel in a pattern. And as you can see, there are a number of gulls around me. This is such an important part of the marine food web. They are known as forage fish, meaning that they feed a large number of predator species, including larger fish, marine mammals, and birds, and are really kind of that central linchpin to the marine food web. Maybe the funniest thing that we saw was a group of sea lions that are basically just sleeping in the sun in the water with their bellies up. On the ferry to Denman Island, I noticed that I was looking, kind of scanning the horizon with my binoculars and I saw these strange shapes. It looked like uh, flippers. You know, I was like, oh, is it an orca or something like that? It was quite far in the distance. And, you know, I wasn't quite sure. I did see that there was tons of sea lions in the area and it's one of these rafts of sea lions. So I don't know, I guess they just basically gorge themselves so much on these herring that they just kind of pass out in the water altogether in this group. So pretty funny to see um, one of the funnier wildlife observations I've made in a while. There's quite a few photographers here. It's obviously a pretty renowned spectacle. I think it's another example of the power of nature both bring us together and also from an economic standpoint people are coming from all over to see this. Pretty cool to see it firsthand. So I think next we'll travel up the coastline to see some of the areas where the spawning is a little more concentrated. So one interesting thing is the herring spawn seems to be triggered in different places at different times. It's not known for sure what triggers the spawn, but it's believed that there might be a pheromone in the male milt, which is the secretion the male releases that includes the sperm. And then once that happens, that triggers the females to enter an area. The females will then lay their eggs on 
The females will then lay their eggs on marine vegetation. It's usually eelgrass, but I believe other species can be used as well, including kelp. And that's one of the reasons why conservation of marine kelp and plants is so important. They're not only important as a food source, but also as a substrate for many creatures. My biggest takeaway from today is that it's a tough go as a herring. There's fishermen after you, there's all sorts of predator after you, and really it's a challenge to go from an egg to an adult. So it's really a miracle that this process happens every year. Year. They're really a classic example of an R selected species that puts in few resources per individual and tries to kind of overwhelm predators through sheer numbers. And obviously, it seems to work, although. I guess recently there's been challenges. I'm gonna have to cut this video off because tide is coming in and I'm on this tidal, uh, tidal spit. So I might get stuck here, but uh, you know, it was worth getting a soaker. It's pretty interesting that you can see the foaming milt, which I guess I'm in about to get on my pant legs. So sometimes you gotta get your feet or hands dirty when you go out and enjoy biology. Hey guys, so amazing day to see the herring run here on Hornby Island. It was a really cool trip to Denman and Hornby. Pretty special place and not a bad place to maybe spend a weekend. Unfortunately, we couldn't find an Airbnb, so we are headed home tonight. But I think we got what we came for. We were playing a little tour guide to a family member, so it's a good excuse to kind of get out and explore. Now, I'm pretty much just blown away by the number of herring in that one group. It's pretty amazing to see. I'm really excited to look at the underwater footage. Hopefully that's pretty cool. I have to say seeing the herring was one of the more incredible natural phenomenon I've witnessed. So probably worth the ferry ride over here. Thanks for watching the video guys. I'm not exactly a fish bro so if you have any insight about the herring biology or anything like that leave a comment below and tune in for more nature content like this. Happy fishing everyone.